again. This is Ava Jarvis with Solo Boarding in part three of our walkthrough of the Doctor Who Solitaire Story Game. To recap, the ninth Doctor landed in Depression-era New York, woke up to find his sonic screwdriver, encountered Tallulah, who became an ally, then became separated from Tallulah. Tallulah joined up forces with Kathika. The doctor has made friends with three local police officers, and they are all going to fight against the cult of Scarrow, a Dalek cult. Let's get on with the show. It's turn six, and what I said last time still holds true, which is that we want to provoke plot events to happen, because the next plot event will be a goal event, and we'll find out what nefarious scheme the cult of Scarrow are involved in. And that brings us closer to defeating them. There is something we missed from last time. The mercenaries can indeed come back into the story once you've encountered them. There is this text down here, which I wish had been made more prominent. When you next have an enemy encounter, roll 1d6. If the result is 1 to 2, the mercenaries become minions of the enemy, uh, minus one to your defeat modifier, and are encountered on a roll of one to three on a d6 with each enemy encounter. So let's do the roll because Tallulah and Kathika had an enemy encounter, so we needed to roll the 1d6 and I neglected to do so, so we are going to do that now. And yes! Or no! The mercenaries are now minions of the enemy. And let's go on with turn six. So let's determine what the doctor does now. Because we know who the enemy is, we have more options open to us. To look at all of these options, you can click on the reference sheets, which will give you a quick overview of what every option you have for your action is, when you can do them, and the various results that you can have. We can't plan or research because we have not had a goal event yet, and we can't choose to defeat enemies, and that's probably not wise right now because with a low defeat modifier or no defeat modifier as we have right now, uh, we are not going to survive that, or at least we'll get captured and then probably not survive. So we probably want to do either investigate, which results in a plot event on a 9 or 10, or a plot event on an 8 if we're at a location, which the doctor currently is. Seek information will result in plot events on a 9. Uh, 10 will just give us a plus 1 to our defeat modifier, which is nice, but I think it's more important to try to get the plot event to occur because remember, the first plot event after you know who the enemy is, is a goal event. We are going to investigate. Roll 2d6, add plus 1 per aware. So as I recall, the doctor is the only one at our current location who is aware, because the others are just policemen, and they are apparently not very aware. So investigate. Ooh, if Tallulah and Kathika got back, with the doctor, we'd we'd be a super investigative team. So hopefully Tallulah and Kathika can meet up with us soon. We're going to roll 2d6 and add plus one aware. We're not Victorian era earlier, so nothing for history. So five plus one is six, no effect. They are going to investigate Tallulah and Kathika because they should have some quite awesome investigate roles. Or not. Six plus two for the awares, oh, is an eight, a location event. So because it's a location event, that means they end up in a presumably another location other than ours. But let's see what happens when we roll on the location line. Oh, one, the enemy base. Now, it's arguable whether they've really joined the doctor back because you, the, I imagine the Dalek City is not a small place. So let's just say that they are at the enemy base slash Dalek City. So right now, 
we are moving on to the encounter we are moving on to the encounter phase so the doctor rolls 2d6 and this is turn 6 so we get an event and it is an event one line this is an event but it's not a plot event so we don't get the satisfaction of figuring out the goal yet. So see, there's event one, event two, and then there's a separate plot line down here. So we're going to roll on the event one line. We get a four. Romantic interlude. Two characters from your group share a gentle time together. You may choose the characters if there are more than two. If both characters have charisma, gain a luck point. Two, if you choose yourself as a character. After the adventure is over, if one of these characters is an ally that does not survive, lose one luck point. If both characters survive the adventure, roll 1d6. You choose a companion and an ally, blah 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 blah. Oh, if you choose yourself and you roll a 6, you find love and your travels are over. This, I've never, I've never opened this paragraph before. And this is, this is cool. This is one of the cool things about any paragraph game with enough paragraphs in it. You'll just, you'll always trip over something new unless you've played the game like an infinite number of times. There's just new ways that things combine and new paragraphs to discover. It's just... <laughs> this almost makes me giggle. Well, it did make me giggle. But let's 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 shut off the music and go ahead and figure out who is in love. The ninth doctor finds something more in Jake. Maybe Jake reminds him of somebody else. Both characters have charisma. Nope, only one character has charisma. So there's no gaining of luck points or anything, but the Doctor and Jake find that they have something more together. And that is interesting. That's sweet almost. Let's see what happens with Tallulah and Kathika, shall we? Roll 2d6. Six. So they have an in they have an encounter, and it is an enemy encounter. So we find this. Okay, so now we need to determine exactly what's going on with the Cult of Scarrow, and also with these mercenaries, which are somewhere. 1d6. There are no mercenaries, so we're going to roll 1d6 to see what happens, and we encounter... E046 oh, this time. Pig slaves. Pig slaves are the results of terrible Dalek genetic engineering. I think I've heard of this episode and it was not a good episode. Oh well, that's the thing about the Doctor Who solitaire story game. Even, okay, there are some exceptions, but when you take apart even a bad episode, you'll find parts, there are always parts that work, you know, by themselves or maybe in collusion with some other parts from somewhere else. So you take a bad episode, you break it down into little bits, you spread it out into paragraphs, and you actually end up with workable material that's probably going to be more enjoyable than the actual episode itself. So anyways, pig slaves, you have encountered 1d6 pig slaves. We've encountered five. Each slave is Brains 1, Bronze 7, Bravery 5, Creature, Minion, and you must choose from the options below. Fight. Probably not a good idea. If this is just Tallulah and Kathika, and also there are five pig slaves. I think they're going to run. Running 7. Here's for Tallulah. She makes it. Kathika. She does not make it, so Tallulah is not going to abandon Kathika. So they need to choose another option. Let's try surrendering. 
Okay, you are thrown into a securely locked cell to await further punishment. If you wish to escape, you may attempt it as an action. Roll 2d6, add any thief traits you have. If the result is 9+, plus, you escape. If the roll is 4 or less, you are caught. Any virtue escapes are made at 1 minus negative 1 penalty for each failed escape. So they are captured. They cannot move back to us. Let's go to turn 7. Rescue prisoner sounds like a good option right now. Roll 2d6 and add any thief modifier plus any enemy DM if no. Enemy DM in our case is minus 2. So we're actually at a, with our thief modifier, we are actually at a minus 1 to our roll. But I remember that the sonic screwdriver had something useful about it. Sonic screwdriver picks locks. You gain plus 1 brawn when fighting against machine. The engineering trait and plus 2 to any escape or rescue rolls. So we are back in business. Plus two to the escape to the rescue roll. So plus one to the roll. So we need to roll eight or better. Let's do it. Eight or better. Come on. No. This is where we lose. This is where we use our luck points. This is too late in the game to screw up. Wow, that was awful. That was a that was a three. If you roll four or less, have an enemy encounter. Okay, so mercenary is on one to three. No mercenaries. How many Daleks? Just Jost and Thay. You encounter Daleks, who do they have with them? A six. The Genesis Ark. The Genesis Ark is a Dalek prison built by the Time Lords. Inside the Ark is a vast army of Daleks that have survived the Time War. The Ark needs the DNA of a time traveler to open it. If a TARDIS character is captured by Daleks or pig slaves and then directed to E061, or if you roll for an event while captured, you are forced to open the Ark. Ooh. They've got... Oh, man. Okay. Genesis Ark. Bad. We unfortunately are facing Daleks, two da only two Daleks with lasers, but they are, they are Daleks with lasers. Let's hide from them. Option is to have more separation of the party or just go ahead and choose another option. Let's try to talk to the Daleks. If you can make a brains roll with your brains reduced by two for each Dalek, sec reduces it by three, and by one for each previous attempt with this option, you succeed. Gain plus one DM or reveal the goal. So let's try to confuse the Daleks. My brains, and this is where brains are important. My brains is 12, but with minus two for the Daleks, Jost and Thay, my brains are eight. So I need to roll eight or lower. I do it. I get, I reveal the goal at this point. And I assume that Justin, they just sort of go on their merry way, all confused and nobody gets captured or anything like that. But we do reveal the goal. To reveal the goal, we go up to the top of the villain paragraph and look at their goal line and roll 1d6. Two. You want some two. What? Nefarious thing are they trying to do? Purification! Goal 5. Apocalypse. You discover that enemy. the enemy is intending to sterilize their target. Destroy every living thing, of course. If Daleks are the enemies, take a minus 1 DM. Add plus 1 to the number of enemies encountered. If you win any fight against an enemy, gain plus 1 DM. At the end of three turns after this goal is revealed, take minus one DM. If you rally the troops, add plus three to your bravery roll while determining the number of troops. If you have three troop, gain plus two DM. This is turning into quite the epic episode. I wasn't expecting this to go quite this epic. So, things to note. Goal five. The In this case... Five is our goal number. That's the amount of DM that we need in order to be able to 
be considered as opposing. When you can oppose the enemy, you have more options available in the individual actions that you choose. So our goal is now known to be five. Our current DM is zero. I know that we've been running into minus one DM, minus one DM, but your DM cannot go below below zero. Uh, your, your DM is separate from the enemy DM, which is the enemy DM is a modifier. Your DM is just your own slowly accumulating counter as you have events that take you to um, that take you to places where you can get DM. Rally the troops is now a, an action that we can actually take. The other thing about goals is that they add a whole bunch of new rules and stuff that you need to follow. Kalula and Kathika are going to try to escape since the doctor and his policemen friends were distracted by the Daleks. Escape. You may attempt it as an action. Roll 2d6 and add any thief. Kathika has thief, so that's plus one to the roll. 2d6. Nine. She, they, they escape. So everybody's running around the Dalek base at this point. We're going to run into the encounter phase. So the doctor does not have an encounter. Tulula and Kathika do have an encounter. And they have a character encounter. They meet a crazed scientist. You have encountered a brilliant but unbalanced scientist devoted to his project. He is brains eight, brawn four, bravery eight. Bunch of traits. Roll 1d6 minus two for the number of security guards with him. He's got four security guards with him. Goodness. Well, this guy's a snob. 11 plus if you can make a brains roll by at least two and have either science two or engineering two, he joins as an ally and you may roll for a plot event. If you do not have the required traits or fail the brains roll, he leaves with a sneer. Okay, so there's no point in talking to this guy when it, there's no point in talking to this guy right now. So they are just going to try to evade. Although we are slowly ticking down to doomsday, we do have the goal and we do know what's going to happen if we fail to stop the Daleks. So let's keep going. Turn 8, 2d6 plus 4 tracking, 8 plus we have joined the groups together. That means we have one encounter. Future Ava here to tell you that my computer crashed and I, it was Daleks, but everything did come back fine. Although after I played through the adventure, I lost terribly and everything went in flames and the Daleks exterminated the earth. And I think that at this point, the best thing to do is to go through my thoughts on the Doctor Who Solitaire story game and to muse over things that I could have done differently to prevent everything from basically blowing up. And um, next time, solo boarding very soon, thoughts.